Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is functions. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and for this example, I'm going to alt click on stopwatch here for my source text. Let me explain what function is. So essentially function is something where you can store an expression in. So you can have like a long expression and instead of typing that expression over and over again, you can just refer to that function. So let's create a first one. So I'm going to say function and then I'll give it a name. So I'll say Eucra Media. It can be anything. So inside here in the parentheses, I'm going to give it a variable. So I'm going to say A. It could be anything, but I'm just going to do A for this example. And then I'll do open curly brackets. And inside here, we're going to create our expression. So I'm going to do the following return. And then I'll start off with a dollar sign. And then I'll add to that. I'm going to say plus A. And by the way, A is whatever I put inside these parentheses. So if I put a five, it's going to become five. So then I'm going to do period two fixed. And then I'll say two. Okay. And then after that, we're going to do close curly brackets. And we're done as far as creating a function. So if I type five in here, you can see here's our five. But if I run that through our function that we created, so I'm going to say Eucra Media, and then I'll put that five inside those parentheses. And if I let go, you can see that it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. So it added a dollar sign and then it gave us two decimals. And you know, you can keep going with this. You can say plus and let's add something else to it. Let's do like space plus and Eucra Media and let's do 10. So if I let go, you can see that it's given us exactly what we typed. So you can see how easily you can reuse that function instead of me typing that expression over and over again. By the way, you can also do if else statements within that function. So in here, I'm going to type the following. So I'm going to say if and inside my parentheses, I'm going to say the following. If A is smaller than 10, I wanted to do this. By the way, I'll copy this. So I wanted to do this, but I'm going to add something else to it. So I'm going to say plus, let's do zero plus. So if it's less than 10, I want to add zero to my five here. So it's going to have dollar sign zero five. And then if it's not, then I'll say else return and I'll just paste the number I copied. So again, it's going to add a zero if my number is less than 10. It's going to add a zero to it. And if it's not, it will just leave it the way it is. Okay, so let's see what happens. As you can see, my number over here is less than 10. And because of that, it added zero to it. And 10 is not less than 10. And because of that, it didn't add zero to it. By the way, there's one thing I forgot to mention. And that is you can set your variables two ways. So this is one way to do it. Or the other way to do it, you can just do it this way. So I'm going to say Eucra Media and then equals to function. So if you let go, I'll do the exact same thing. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.